So, Jesus. I like that. Your ring doorbell is connecting to the internet. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to install this lovely little ring doorbell pro 2 okay it's advanced it's a hardwired hd video doorbell with transformer that's good that they actually give you the transformer because the amount of times people say what transformer shall i buy chris what shall i buy to fit this doorbell because it doesn't come as a complete kit but this one comes as a bloody complete kit which is fantastic yeah i'm just going to show you quickly what you get in this box you get the awesome Stylish, slim line, look at that, ring, doorbell, okay? So we're gonna install that. You also get a bunch of instructions, an angle plate. Look, and you even get the official, the official doorbell transformer, yeah? So once I get into this, I'll show it you. They even give you a screwdriver, look, with the ring on it, look. Awesome, awesome kit, all in a little box. So if you've already got a hardwired doorbell, they give you all the instructions here, how to change that hardwired doorbell into a video doorbell. It's very simple. Today though, we're gonna do a full install of a door, of a, on a house, we've had no doorbell, yeah, there's no doorbell there. So we're gonna install this doorbell from scratch. Um, I'll do it step by step. Um, it's, it's quite easy to understand and uh, we'll get into it. So, 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 here we are. We've just gone and picked up a DIN rail enclosure for this, um, for this little bell transformer. What's he got? Andy, where are you? <laughs> He's locked himself in. Jesus. Can I film this in here or not? Huh? Can I film this in here? <laughs> <laughs> and is the client, and he's the and he's the worker today. <laughs> Jesus, you got some stuff. This is worse than I ever remember it, mate. Huh? This is worse than I ever remember it. We did get a car in here once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you looking for? I'm just wondering if I have an enclosure. Don't worry, mate. We use that. Well, you don't want to use that metal one. You want to keep it. Oh, you chucked it outside. Oh, that's it, yeah. 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 Nice fuse board as well. Huh? <laughs> nice fuse board. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Right, let's crack, let's crack on. This is, this is where we're installing this doorbell, okay? We're going to try and get it here. We've got to do some extreme angle drilling on the angle here. We're then going to bring the cable up here into this cove, in, aren't we, Andy? You think? And then we're going to fish along into this cupboard. It's, it's going to bring us up here. It's and then we're going to put an enclosure in there and come off the socket up there. Watch your backside. There we go. Quite a nice little design. We're probably going to aim for there somewhere. They do tell you in the instructions the height, so we better look at that, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the enclosure that we're going to mount the doorbell transformer in. Okay, I put it in an enclosure because it just lets the heat uh, radiate around it a little bit because they do get hot, um, but nothing excessive. So, um, fairly straightforward. Look, live and neutral in the bottom, and then pos and neg out the top, which just runs to the video doorbell. Look, this is if you've got an existing chime where you link the chime out, which we haven't got. Um, so we effectively just have that with that cable running straight to the doorbell. So it's fairly simple. Um, we're going to do some drilling now. Can I have a tea, please? I was going to. I was wondering when he was going to put it on. Right, Andy, I'm going to go up in this top corner then. Yeah, just push it into the back of that. Yeah, the back of that cove in. Back of that cove, yeah. So keep it. You can come out. Because this is the same wall, isn't it? Yeah. Lines up, doesn't it? Do you want me to go what, right in the top or would you have put yeah. screws there? I'll try and carry a bit of 4025 or something. Then a compromise with a bit of 4025. Right, I'll try. Do you want to put some up here to catch some dust? Yeah. I'll do the one here. Just move this one, mate. Huh? Just move that one. Yeah, that's 
Just sort of cake thing. Don't smash it. That's better. Right. Alright. Friggin' screw head straight there. Huh? <laughs> Friggin' screw head. There's a screw head there. Yeah, I might have to actually. Give us a screwdriver, mate. Be free then, mate. Yeah. Huh? Where's that going? Oh, no, it's gone. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. Where's the guy you put up there? That's it. That's it. That's it. Woohoo! Right, that's in there now. Right. See if I can get this to go through. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I've lost my two for one. Yeah. Left them on a job, yeah? Yeah, on a job. Give me another. That's why I get it. It's not there, mate. Right, that's going, mate. That's what that should be there. We should have a chain there now. Should be a chain there now. That's two rods fully in. It's definitely there. Yeah, I have it. Yeah? Yeah, aye, go on, go on. What have you got though? All right, so we drilled an hole up in the top corner behind the coving, yeah? Using the rod, and look. Right, push it. Yeah, go on, mate. James, push it. James. <laughs> there you go, look. Oh, look at that. Magnetic That's end, sweet. look. Look at your fingers now, yeah? Well, I could do that, isn't it? Big sausage fingers. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Hey? Look at that, eh? Hey? It's awesome, isn't it? Over two metres. Yeah. Look at that, look how good it is. It's really strong. Yeah. That's where it falls off. So that, um, we can now tie the bow wire onto that. So you do that. Yeah. yeah. That. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'll pull that back through, mate. Not too keen on that jumper you've got on, Andy. <coughs> no. No. She's not going to pull the cable, Andy. Right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Right, we've tied on, okay? We've tied on, and I should be able to now pull this. Does it go in? Is it going? It's gone tight, mate. That's it. Yeah? All right, let me unscrew that, mate. Hold on. Right, ready? Bloody awesome, isn't it? A bit more. That's it. One of the days of tying on a bit of one mil, mate. Huh? Sorry? One of the days of tying on a bit of one mil to fish yeah. it at the end. Mm -hmm. So he's doing a bit of fishing up there. He's chiseled out this. Little wall here, because we're in the safe zone here, so we can do that. It's, and it's only a bell cable. And if you look there, that's where my drill bits come out. And we'll put the door bell right next to the. Um, we did it in the block, so we didn't split the block. Did it in the the mortar joint, and then the door bell will go right next to the door sign there. Let's <laughs> go. Give him any advertising. Stunning, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Okay, so we're at the stage now where the cable um, is in from, we'll call that point A, 
to point B, okay? Point B, here it is. This is our two core uh, bow cable, all right? What we're gonna do now is get the door bow fixed on. So all you do is it comes like this. You just remove this cover and then you've got um, two fixings. Yeah, one, two, one at the top, one at the bottom. And then once it's fixed to the wall, it's very self-explanatory. You've got two terminals on the back. I will show you when I do it. That goes on and they give you the nice little fancy screwdriver to do the um, screw up at the bottom. They also give you the right size screws. Look, nice little uh, screws and two wall plugs to fix that. And then this is the enclosure that we're gonna use and it just comes, um, you just get a din rail enclosure and it literally just clicks on. It should be spring loaded, there we go. Clicks on there, like so. That will go in the cupboard or wherever you wanna sight it. And then the lid will go on and you'll be able to see the see it through the box there, look. So you can get plastic ones of these. We just got a metal because that's what was in stock at the time. Um, but yeah, you can, um, you can use what you want really, it doesn't really matter. It's really good, look, they give you enough stickers to put on your own house and you can do your next door neighbours as well. So because we are fixing this camera um, next to the door, it's not too far away from it because of the cable, getting the cable in, what we're doing is um, we're gonna fix it with this angle bracket, yeah? So, Jesus. So the camera will be facing more towards the door look, on the angle bracket, yeah? So that'll face towards the door and that'll pick up, rather than it facing sort of flat, look, out that way, it's gonna face towards the door and actually be able to see the people that are coming to the door a lot easier, yeah? Top, top job there, Andy, top job. <laughs> Beautiful job, right. Um, I've got my angle bracket on, look, I've leveled it off of this house sign, so I, I hope the resident has put that up nice and straight. Has he? Uh, I think he has. So anyway, they give you a nice bit of adjustment on these screws anyway. The screws and wall plugs I've used supplied, okay. Now all I've got to do is connect up the posa neg of this cable. Whichever we make it. One is probably got a little black line on it, has it? No. Okay, we can bail it out anyway. There's no identity on this cable, is there? Posa neg. I think it matters, yeah. I think it does. Let me check the the door bow. Let me see if it's got any polarity on it. No, it hasn't. It's got no polarity on the doorbell. So you've just got two terminals, look, and it just um, unscrew them and connect it up. Right, fairly simple. I'll leave a little tiny bit. Strip it down a little bit. You could put a little uh, crimp on the end of here, but you don't need to, because I shall show you in a minute what it's... Um, So the way they've designed this terminal, um, you can see you've got a little, um, nice little, so all you do is put a little, little bend on him, like so, around the terminal, making this look so easy, bend it round, and if you put it this side, when you tighten it up, it'll, it'll curl round the it will curl round rather than if, if I did it that side, it will uncurl, yeah? And then same as this one, put a little bend in it. Put it around the terminal. Tighten it up. Okay, easy as that. This then hides in the back, your back plate there. And then if my assistant holds that there, two screws supplied. And then you just screw that into the back plate. Like that one and two, and then it is this that is this bit of the doorbell done. Apart from, if you do, just click the bracket on like that. Is that in there properly? Yeah, we can angle that actually. We can angle that a bit more. Mm -hmm. See how it's um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can take the we can take the angle off of that and then angle it a bit more. And then all there is under here, we just need to put a security screw under there and tighten that up. Okay, I'm not going to screw this. Um, I'm not going to screw this um, in yet because we've got a little button on the side here, and we've got a QR code. We need to scan so we can get it scanned up onto the app for them, so they can actually view the video. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do to save mounting this box here near the shower because this is um, quite a big, quite a big unit. 
We're going to, there's a little gap here on the wall. Look. So what we're going to do is put a bit of trunk in in the top corner here, and then run a piece back that way. So this unit will literally mount on the wall uh, just there, like that. Look, pretty neat and tidy, and then the lid will be able to fit on uh, nice and square. We've got a new uns we've got a new switch spur, sorry, we'll put a label on that Andy, doorbell. Even though it's your house, you know what it is. Free amp fuse in there, then there's the new doorbell transformer. Um we've earthed down the metal unit because it's a metal unit. Um so we're gonna power up in a minute and then we'll show you how to set it up. Lovely jubbly. Absolutely beautiful. There's the transformer, his housing, right mate, you can switch that on please. Okay, switch that. Lovely, we've got power. Right, we're gonna set it up now. I've screwed the cover on. I've screwed this cover on because the QR code is also on the the QR code is also on this bit of paper. Drug dealer. So, right, we just got the two got the client's two phones. This one we had to get the hamster in it to get it to work. So um, we're just downloading the Ring app onto the phones now. Yeah, we'll let that finish and I'll come back. So if you haven't got a Ring account, you need to go and set up um, an account, okay? So if you've got, say, husband and wife, like this is, you can set up one account and then you can log in husband or wife on the other phone. So you don't need two accounts, then you'll both be able to view the doorbell, okay? Okay. QR code. Allow while using app. So I'm gonna put the client's details in here now. Waiting for the ring doorbell to enter setup mode. When the light on the front starts spinning, continue to the next step. Let me go and check. Okay, because we haven't got the little blue light that's spinning, we need to take this faceplate off here. And angle up a bit. It's nice doing this in the rain. Angle this faceplate. Take this faceplate off of here. There's a little button here. You need to hold this in. Welcome to Ring. The world's most advanced doorbell. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Ah. I will. I will. Right. Join. Connecting to your doorbell. That's it. Right, I've now got to connect to the Wi Fi. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> I like that. Your ring doorbell is connecting to the internet. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> on. Right, here we go. It's currently updating the software. This may take up to 15 minutes, okay? That's, that's normal with uh, any product that's been in a box for a while. Right, there we go. Got our live, got our live feed. You can go up there now, mate, and press the, press the doorbell. There he goes, yeah. There we go. And then you can say. Hello. All right. Hello. Hello. Are you dodgy, dod dodgy delivery man or? Yeah, it's all right. All right, cheers buddy. All right, so there we go. We've got a nice switch fuse spur with a three amp fuse. Uh, we've got the bow transformer in its box. We fished the cable across to the doorbell, obviously if you've got an original doorbell with a main transformer, this will be a lot easier for you. We've installed this um, on a new system today and then you've got the lovely doorbell, awesome. Thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, massive shout out to Ring uh, for sending me the doorbell to install. If you found the video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye bye.